What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a special edition of Talking Elite Fitness. I'm Sean Woodland with Lauren Khalil. Lauren, how you doing? I am doing great. We're back in the CrossFit action, baby. Let's back go. Back in the CrossFit action. Back in the uh, our, our domicile that we are renting here in Huntington Beach. Tommy and Tommy Marquez. And featuring, sorry, Tommy Marquez. <laughs> How are you doing, man? I get the feature at the end. Yeah, like you got a, the like third person's artist. always featuring, yeah. Like T-Pain on a Little John song. <laughs> yeah. Little John. Okay. <laughs> it's late, uh, but we're going to recap day number one of the Tier Cup. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, there was there were some surprises. There were some things that went sure. definitely as, as expected. We had three events. Uh, first thing we I want to do, though, before we get into all this, is that we have to thank our sponsor. Oh, that is yeah. Box Basics. They Aye. are fantastic people uh, that will set you up with whatever you need to be as successful as you need to be in the gym. You can go to shopboxbasics.com, and you can use our code TEF, and you will save 20%. I mean, these guys have been outfitting people for more than 10 years. They know what they're doing, they provide fantastic customer service, and they literally have whatever you need. Shoes, apparel, equipment, you name it, you can find it at shopboxbasics.com. And right now, our code, TEF, will save you 20%. I mean, and you, you're you just, you're, you're losing money you if really you don't are. do this. You are, and there are some sweet, sweet shoes that have dropped recently <laughs> on their latest launches. Tommy keeps refreshing the page. I have it. I have it. They've got something for a little bit for everything. they got the little Oreo for Sean, a little Ooh, black and I white like with that. the speckle. I the tier, is that the CR2 trainer there? Yeah. And then we got a little purple or a multicolored for, oh, uh, for yeah. Lauren. Bring the colors, baby. Yeah. And then we got another one called Straight Cash. That's a little bit in between. Maybe I could rock that I like one. That. Yeah. A little Randy Moss, straight cash, homie. Well, whatever you like. Multicolor, plain color, something goes everything. They Shop can Box outfit Basic all three of us that have very different <laughs> styles. Yeah, and listen, this is the, I mean, honestly, we've talked we've talked about this, about uh, Stephen and Justin before the guys who run Shop Box Basics. Awesome people. We saw and Stephen today. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Fantastic customer service. That's great the, people. That is rare nowadays. If you want great customer service and you want to work with an organization and a company that is going to make sure that you are 100% satisfied with whatever you buy from them, go to Shop Box Basics. They can't speak highly of them enough. And they provide a great service, great products, 20% off. Use our code TEF. And thank you to them for being such outstanding partners for us, uh, with us while we uh, cover Wadapalooza here. So no doubt. Great people, great products. We love them. Yes. We had a couple different perspectives here. You two were down on the competition floor. Mm -hmm. I was up in the broadcast booth, which was, I was freezing. Windy. <laughs> people don't realize in California, like at night on the beach, it gets cold. The wind picks up. It is. You were elevated, so there's oh, nothing man. blocking. No, I, I it, saw your hood. I've, I've never seen a difference, like a bigger difference between climates in such a small distance. Like down on the floor, people had no shirts on, shorts. They were feeling good. Up where we were, I had my hoodie on. I had the hood on. I had my other hoodie that I had wrapped around my legs. I looked like an old woman waiting for her porridge. Yeah. I just needed a shawl. I was so cold up there. Your porridge. But I didn't. So you guys got some intel on some things that happened that you know I didn't. I wasn't privy to. So interested to hear about that. But uh, we are tied two points apiece going into day number two. Four events on day number two, if you're listening to this on Saturday, so that's today, uh, one, which, one of which will not be broadcast. That's the opening event. We'll get into that in a second, but the other three will. Um, but I, there were definitely some surprises here, and, and, I, and I'll go ahead and start. I think event one went as I thought it would. North America picked up the win there. But the surprises for me occurred in event two, and it started with... Uh, the North America women, I was really shocked at how much they struggled with the worm. Mm -hmm. That ultimately cost them uh, in that event. And they, they changed the scoring <laughs> without telling us. It was originally supposed to be the combined time between the men and the women. But they decided to change it and make each heat worth one point. So we weren't told that until well into the event itself. Um, oh, yeah, that's tough. I mean... The, at least the, it was communicated to the athletes. Well, it was. And then Bella, who was working under the assumption of the old scoring system, told Tia it's the combined time. And Tia's like, oh, I didn't know that. We should have done things differently. Awkward. But Tia, anyway. Tia was right. But she, was, yeah. she, she had been briefed. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Which is un yeah, it's unfortunate for Broadcast, you Broadcast, and, and this is one of the weird things that in, in these events that happens – but broadcast is typically the last to know for some reason mm -hmm. because 
you know, you get those your rings of communication, and then somehow it's like because broadcast we typically kind of operate on our own island with our own crew and everything like that, just because that has to. And so if if you're not like mixing it up with them constantly, somehow they just get left out. Yeah, which is tough. And that happened a couple times. Uh, yeah, things were changed without us knowing. But anyway. Uh, that was a big surprise to me because you had, uh, it was Ariel Lowen, Daniel Brandon and Emily, Emily Rolf Rolf, in that yeah. event. And they, they really struggled with the worm. And then the other surprise happened in the men's heat. I was shocked at how poorly Fakowski, Akai and Mayeros who subbed in at the last minute for BKG did on the wall walks. I mean, that yeah. event was over after the set of 24. It yeah. It was done. Yeah, and, and there was... They're tall. There's a lot of ROM there. A yeah, lot of ROM. there's a lot <laughs> big, big of boys. body to move up and down a wall. Yeah, but I, I do think that the scoring adjustment was better overall for the competition. I agree. Um, I think that, and we talked about this, that uh, Tia with the quick turnaround, even amongst the athletes and coaches, they were in awe of Tia's like fitness mm-hmm. because the way... the Anyone that, you know, you're just watching at home. It was kind of a shock. It was a, the athletes knew, but being that back there in the back, when it actually started to unfold, they were like, oh yeah, this turnaround is, is something. Well, and even when they chose on the first event, the order of which athletes would do the handstand walk off of the bike, she every single time had the shortest amount of rest relative to all the other athletes. Mm-hmm. And, and the and so you could see the realization like, oh, yeah, I don't just get to go do my normal cool down and like chill for a couple hours. Like I got to get ready to go again. Like I know DB like was definitely feeling it after that second one. Um, uh, even Dallin who wasn't doing, uh, who didn't do the first one was like, man, this turnaround is t- like tough for some of these athletes. Like just seeing them have to, to, to reload like that. And Tio did it all in stride. And if talking, if everyone, they're like, she looks like she hasn't even yeah. worked out. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Is it's she like, sweating? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and I think that was huge in her helping two, f- like two fresh athletes with, uh, Sahar and Emma tall, mm-hmm. uh, being able to like rock that worm. Mm hmm and do so pretty flawlessly. Yeah, they look good. They, that that event for them went off pretty much, yeah, like you said, that was, was a flawless execution on their point, on their part. But uh, and then, the, you know, the weightlifting event went as expected. Yeah. Uh, that was, I wish it would have been a little more exciting, but. It was exciting for Ariel, though. She that hit was four great. That PRs. Was cool. That was cool. A 20-pound PR on the yeah. clean and jerk and a nine-pound PR on the snatch. Okay. We, Chase <laughs> we talked about that in the booth, how in her training, she doesn't max out a lot. She only yeah. really maxes out when she's she's in the competition. That was cool. I, it was just, there was no doubt who was going to win that one. Yeah. They, but, you know, it was, it was over from the beginning. But every wow. athlete, uh, pretty much every athlete I talked to said that, like, they went a little bit more than they originally planned. Mm. Like really? everyone was like, okay, like we, maybe this isn't going to be a true max. Mm-hmm. Um, like Adler went a little bit more than he originally planned. Cause he like kind of got sure. into it and he's like, yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. And even Tia, that last one when she like Clark pulled it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she, you could see the moment when they're changing the plates and she, and they, her teammates looked her, they're like, <laughs> are you? And she goes, yeah, yeah let's not? do it. Yeah, yeah. And, and then she That's doesn't actually rally. pull it, but um, and then Geek could have just done whatever. But <laughs> that guy. But we, we, it's I, not I, even fair. It's just not. <laughs> I, I walk up to the warm up area, right? Because and this is what's uh, another cool dynamic is like you have all these athletes that aren't necessarily involved, but they're very tuned in what to what their competitor mm-hmm. is, their typical competitor is in a way that's very supportive, and you there's like this weird energy around it where like Tia's lifting. And their three other world women are like right there dialed watching her. Mm-hmm. And it's I, like like they're getting this moment of like supporting the greatest to ever do it. And <laughs> they're on the Kaya same team. had her phone out on Tia's last lift. Yeah. <laughs> and she was you know, right behind her with her phone out. It was yeah. great. You know and what it reminded me of? It reminded bro- <laughs> me of being at the Masters games and when the men were front squatting, yes. how they yeah. were clapping yeah. in the back for each mm-hmm. other. That was yeah. the vibe that I got with this lifting event. It's the, the LeBron meme of him with his phone out at the dunk contest <laughs> back in the day, yeah. just like being all pumped. And, and 
you know, talking with weight changes and what do you want? What do you need? Mm -hmm. What do you need? Like seeing them in this moment where like these are the best athletes in this sport and they're being very like humble Mm -hmm. and like weight changes and stuff Mm -hmm. like that. And it's very CrossFit affiliate based, right? Yeah. Because when you're thrown down with your buddies or you're at a local like the open or quarter finals, right? Yeah. And it was almost this moment that like brought it down a little bit in a very cool way. And, and, when I walked up to see the women warming up, uh, Ortega turns to me and goes, Aaron Long just hit 175 cold on the snatch. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> like, that was her first lift. He goes, it's the only one I've seen from her. And oh he goes, she's pe- she said she's calling her shot. She's peeing our both lifts. Good for her. And I'm like, really? And he goes, he goes, yeah. She turns and goes, I put on some weight, baby. <laughs> and I was like, Go And it was here. also yeah. so cute. Her daughter, Blakely, was standing, and mm. her husband, Dylan, were standing right by me. And Blakely was just like, believe in yourself. Awesome. Believe, mommy. And then I saw Dallin and Justin, like, on the floor move to the side. So Blakely had a That's better cool. shot of her mom lifting, which was just a cool moment. Yeah. Oh, man. It's... Yeah, the conversations and I, I know they've got some like they've got some good people capturing content from mm-hmm. them behind the scenes. But a lot of the conversations that are going on, whether it's like you know in game strategy or mm-hmm. like the like gee running over and chalking the the ramps yeah. for yeah. for other teammates, or going and wiping it down, or all the other people trying to like pitch in and and lend a hand where you can is is super cool. And uh, one of the conversations that we mentioned. Um, in, in one of our social posts for the top moments is on the North America men's worm event, they came back to the wall and realized that they were almost a round ahead. <laughs> and they were having the conversations like, should we slow down? And they're like, no. You know what? Like, these people came for a show. Let's give them a show. And let's also let the world know that, like, we're going to stomp them when we get the chance. And I was like, that's freaking sick. Yeah, like, cool. like I love that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like that's uh, that's stuff that you see in other sports more, yeah. much yeah. more commonly. And Adam Knifer even said the same thing. I was like, dude, and we were chatting about I'm like, if we're playing if we're playing American football and I hit you and I drop you, I'm gonna let you hear about it. Mm-hmm. Cause I know that if you get me back, you're gonna do the same thing. Yep. And that's what we're seeing here in the play. And you don't ha- there's usually isn't the the space to do that because it's so chaotic and you really have to do focus on yourself in a lot of those moments. So it's cool to have those opportunities for sure. Yeah. I, I, I really like the, 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 the dynamic of the, like you're talking about the, you know, we're going to stop them and stuff like that. It's been, it's been fun to watch. And, and I, you know, we're tied and everyone's kind of, it's still sort of fun in games right now. Mm-hmm. And Chase even mentioned this on the broadcast. Yeah, it's fun in games right now, but when you get into Sunday and it's close and they realize there's more money on the line for way the more, winner. Way more. <laughs> things are going to get a lot more serious. Like at some point, these these all-star events and these fun, like these exhibitions where there's money on the line, start out all, ha-ha, you know, we're having a good time, you know, but then they get serious. Once you realize that, okay, wait a minute, there's actually a significant more, uh, it's fun until someone wants a trip to Disney World. Exactly, right? Like when there's something when you realize, wait a minute, we're going to win a lot more money if we win this thing. There's and I'm wondering at what point it gets to that. I mean, a lot of it's going to depend on what happens on Saturday and we're going to go over those events yeah. next. But you know, if we're if we're within a point or two going into Sunday, I mean, it's I think the mood is not that it's going to become hostile, but it's going to become a lot more serious. Yeah. I mean, like the difference between 5k and 20k, right? Like do you it's want, a big gap. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> what I can do with 5K versus 20K are totally different. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, uh, I, I've seen you at the after party. <laughs> <laughs> that is not uh, for this podcast. <laughs> you, you, didn't see, you didn't see Lauren in her first trip to a Brazilian steakhouse. Oh, my gosh. Our producer, Eric Barnhart, was under the window knocking. <laughs> and our director, come on Mike in. Rock. Be our guest. Yeah, they should come on in. Oh, do you guys have ice cream? It's not... It's we so have pizza wait. coming. Yeah, we got pizza coming. In three minutes, it's arriving. If yeah. you would like some, Shake Shack. Oh, wait. Kay. Did you take our order? <laughs> we're getting pizza. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have. Kidding. We're gonna have a glutton fest right now. We're wow. Well, we're not. I don't know. This if is I, very professional. This is, yeah, this is really professional. Talking to people in a window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Fantastic. Love it. Oh, 
my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Whatever, whatever gets you through the night. Oh, there, right? you should have seen our um, our homeless man during our podcast this morning. I saw. I, I saw his that. His pants there. were pulled down. His shirt was up in sunbathing right in the front Great. row. Hey, that's you know. Hey, that's how we roll down here. Okay. No tan lines here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to talk about some events? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go tomorrow. over the first one. And this one's not going to be broadcast. So this it's is in the be, morning. It's in the morning. It's for total combined time. So six, three men, three women are all going to do this. And it's going to be your total combined time. So the three of us were doing it, and it took Tommy 20 minutes, and you 22, and me three, 30. Like our Thank total, you. That's our total combined time. <laughs> be the slowest. No, not in this. Yeah, I would. Uh, 3,000 meter assault row. <laughs> <laughs> 60 burpees over the worm, and then a 3,000-meter run. Everyone does it. Add up the times. Fastest time wins. Easy concept. Three men, three women. All right? That's what we have been told. That's how this is going to work. Uh, that'll be... I'm, I, I don't know who that favors. I lean North America. Ariel Lowen. I lean I'm sorry. Um, Emily Rolf. I mean, she's absolutely going to be out there for North. Yeah, I mean, Jeff, is, Jeff Adler is, is chomping at the yeah, bit for this and, one. and I think you know this is as as Gee was to the weightlifting event. I feel like Emily Emily Rolf is yeah. to this event. And see, her name Tia too. Yep. The yeah, mother, she'll yeah. be out there for everyone. Yeah, probably. I mean, when you got Connor McDavid, you put him on the ice as much as you can. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, event five then is so. Is this a? I don't have it in front of me. Um, is this pairs? It, it's a spotlight event. So one man, one male and one female from each team. Okay. And okay. So it's going to be for total reps and it's two minutes at each station. Max rope climbs. Two minutes at the max free standing handstand pushups. Two minutes max ring muscle ups. Two minutes of max free standing handstand pushups. Two minutes max rope climbs. And I believe it's the total reps combined of the two athletes. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe that changes. I don't know. But is that... I believe it's the combined reps. Yeah, so each team has a total number okay. of reps. Much, much like the weightlifting event. Yep. And that is a spot-like event like we saw with the weightlifting. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm interested to see who they roll out there for that one. Is our pizza here? Is that what you're looking I th- at? Yeah. Le- right. Lauren's gonna <laughs> Hold the pizza. fort down while I get yeah. the food. Okay. Um, yeah, I, this is one where I think if the free handstand push-ups aren't an issue for her, you can roll Emma Tall out. Okay. She's excellent upper body pulling endurance. So she can do rope climbs, ring muscle ups into rope climbs again and mm-hmm. get big chunks. Because I do think this is, int- then this is, and this is, I guess, part of the gambit, right? Rope climbs, you're kind of going to hit a cap, right? Like depending on how many pulls mm-hmm. you can do. Free handstand push ups, if you find your groove. Right where yeah. you can rip, rip them out, ring muscle ups. You're going to have to under fatigue be able to that that that's your best opportunity in my opinion to score points. Mm-hmm. If, if you're not sure, if you're not just an absolute gymnast wizard for free handstand pushups. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that does seem. Then you, you know you're doing them twice. That does. I agree with you. That does seem to be where you're going to be able to separate yourself a little bit. So. I would imagine that the choice of who you're running out there would the free hand standing free standing hands and push up would have a great amount of in, like input into that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's a spotlight event, and then we go to event six. Uh, this is now first pairs event. It's two uh, two women, two men. So it's going to be it's technically like a CrossFit Games team style event, but the women go out first. They will perform 72 D ball over the yoke at 100 pounds, 72 weighted GHD sit ups, 72 ping pong wall ball. So that's one wall ball between the two of them. Mm-hmm. And then a 72 calorie ski, each person doing 36 calories. Once they're done, the men get released. Yeah. And they do uh, the same thing, but in reverse, reverse order. Yeah. They'll start with the calories on the ski, 72. Then they'll go to the wall balls. Then the weighted GHDs. Then seventy-two D balls over the yoke. Yep, I like yeah. this one. I, I like, like this one, one a lot. lot. And we saw some athletes trying to practice some of the nuances of mm-hmm. of this stuff. To one athlete got knocked out a yeah. little bit by the wall ball. Yeah, to some very degrees <laughs> of success. But yeah. Um, 
Yeah, the the ping pong wall balls are fun. That feels like a and again, this feels like a, a warm up movement that you would do in an affiliate. Like you mm-hmm. get a light wall ball and you ping pong it back and forth, or you like you shoot it over the rig back and forth to each other if you have the space. Mm-hmm. Just kind of one of those fun little like uh, like warm up components that adds a little bit of like the accuracy part of the ten general physical skills. So you can kind of repeat mm-hmm. this over and over. Um, a lot of a couple of the athletes were like, "Ooh, this weighted GHD sit up is going to be tough." Yeah, it's going to get you. Uh, do you have any idea? On, on I'm sitting here thinking, trying to think about pairs that I would send out for each team. I think I think maybe Dallin and uh, Madero's. That's what I was going to. Okay, they yeah. were practicing together the other okay. day too. Um, this is. I want to say, who do we see mm. practicing? I know. I'm. Tr- I know. We definitely saw Dallin and Justin. We saw. I don't think we, we saw, saw Gra- the women we saw, from North. We saw America. Grace. We saw. Oh, I, don't, I didn't yeah. see the women. We saw Gra- we Gracie. Saw Gracie and Emma. And Emma. That'd be a good pair. And f- I feel I saw, like I saw BKG on the on the GHD too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the this is. Europe had to set theirs up in a hallway, yeah, because it was the the best way to like pull, like line up two GHDs mm-hmm. that way, um, which was funny. Event seven is going to be interesting because right uh, this is one where I could see them score changing the scoring. Event mm-hmm. seven is it's head to head. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna choose who's going to do each one of these, and then they're going to race, and each one's a little different. So female one versus female one. So one woman from each team. Mm-hmm. They're going to do uh, 21 bar muscle ups, and then they're going to go through a clean ladder uh, of 155, 165, 170, 175, 180. Okay. Then the men are going to come out. Then two men are going to go head to head. They'll do 21 bar muscle ups and a clean ladder of 245, 255, 265, 275, 285. Then the women come back out, and this pairing, this race is going to be 15 These bar muscle These are two ups. different women, right? Yeah, two different women from okay. female one, female two. So then, so every every athlete on the... Everybody does it, well, six people, but you it decide like who pairs. Yeah. Yeah, there's three different pairs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So six two, eight. four teammates are going to get left out. Mm-hmm. No, two teammates on each team. So four total people. Mm-hmm. So then, the, then it's the second pairing of females, and then they're going to do 15 bar muscle ups, but now the weights get heavier on the clean ladder. They start with 175, and they go up to 180, 185, 190, 195. Men come back out. They're going to do 15, but their weights are now heavier too. And yeah. the final pairing for women are going to do nine bar muscle ups, 190. So there's fewer gymnastics movements on the bar, but then the weights get heavier. Yeah. And same with the men. So the final pairing of men go out, nine bar muscles, 285, 295, 305, 315, 325. And the way that it was explained to us initially is that whatever team wins the most races wins the event. So uh, it's one point. Now, we brought up when we were wait. being briefed. On, so if North America wins, if it's North America wins four of those races and World wins two. North America wins the event one nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I could see them changing this to one point for each one, mm. or a half point for each one. I don't know if they'll go half points, but I could yeah. see them changing this to one point because one of the things we brought up is that if America win, or, or if North America or even whatever team wins four, it's over. Like, what are you going to have the well, next? Yeah, two. So That's once someone showcase. gets to four, it's over. If you botch this, you could put yourself in a hole you can't get out of, though. True. So that's it. That's that's a very good point. Like you could be you could be down six nothing and then you're over. My guess mm-hmm. is that they will keep this the same way. But I am curious as what will happen if you do get to the fifth like the fifth race and it's four one. I mean you'd be over. You wouldn't that's, do this. Like yeah. do you not do the sixth? Yeah. So and that could affect strategy too, right? Yeah. Because I mean you look at the heavy you look at the heaviest hitters in terms of barbell cycling and you assume that you want to put them last, but could you slot someone like Guy in the second round because he is good at like bar muscle ups? I would say it was going to be it was going to be Guy and Adler going head to head at the end there. Yeah, yeah. Or do you try to not match up and have your best lose a point and you put them earlier, knowing that they can 
smoke somebody else to guarantee yourself a point. That's true. It's, gonna, it's that, like it's that's really interesting. Yeah. This is the this is the jockeying one mm-hmm. where you can slide some pieces around and like And especially when you don't know which athletes are doing what until they take the floor essentially, right? Well, they'll like, declare tomorrow. But do they know like they declare but who gets that, that information? Might, that might be it. Yeah. Well, you're allowed to Like change. if you're on the other team, do I know I think you sh- yeah, until I think you do. take the I think floor? They all know who's going. You're okay. allowed two changes within throughout the, last, the weekend with, within the last five minutes which took place today already one, yes yeah, bkg with, with used BK. one of their two he was yeah he i think he was feeling lingering effects of the travel yeah and he just didn't seem like he he got zapped pretty quick and mm-hmm. i think he had a hard time recovering yeah um he looked better later on in the rest like for, later on in the night but this might be one where you use one yeah where you where you basically like keep one in your back pocket and figure out how can I swap two people last minute because really this change affects two two matchups, right? So it's like a twofer. Yeah. Well, right? and if World only gets one more, uh, North America could kind of screw them. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting. That, that's that's what I and that's we talked about this in the broadcast too. That's what I love about this format Mm -hmm. is that these kinds of things come in now to the team competition to make it so much more interesting, but this will be a fun event to watch. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty fast. Uh, Yeah. Those last ones, but it's really going to, I mean, people, athletes are going to have to push the pace on these bar muscle Mm -hmm. ups for sure. All right. Well, those are the four. So that, that gets us through event number seven. It's gonna be fun, man. And again, all the three, three of those will be broadcast. The one in the morning, the total time with the the row, the burpees, and the run, that's not going to be streamed. So we'll have an update for you on that one when the broadcast starts. I don't know if there will be highlights. I don't know what the plan is, but we will obviously let you know what happened. Um, all right, any any parting thoughts here before we tear into our pizza? Because I know- I smell the pizza I know, you just, oh, just, Did you see my I know, eyes? Yeah, yeah, I do. Like I said, I, I've, I've been with you at the Brazilian Steakhouse, and I think it was the reactions to that food. I was like, man. I said, Lauren, this is a restaurant, not a Chippendale show here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bring you it out, like, oh yeah, baby, come bring that to me. I was like, wow. That's, bring me the meat, baby. I thought she was going to tip the gaucho. And I was like, Lauren. <laughs> that did happen. Oh, 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 it's too late for uh, that guy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she was enthused about it. So I'm. I know that you want to get into that. Uh, yeah, into that it doesn't piece. take what? much, guys. Why do you have a lot of singles out? This is a <laughs> like, <laughs> ma'am, this is a. This because is a then Texas they Tabor bring Bell. the good meat to me before Neesh. they do to everybody uh, else. Yes, they do. Uh, yes, yeah, they it was do. Quite the reaction. <laughs> yeah. I was taken aback by it. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's going to do it uh, for this edition. Thanks again to our sponsor, Box Basics. Please check them out. <laughs> Shopboxbasics.com. Honestly, whatever you need, they got it. 20% off with our code TEF, and you're going to get great customer service, and you will be 100% satisfied with whatever uh, you wind up purchasing because Stephen and Justin are fantastic people. Uh, back with you tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the broadcast on Friday. Uh, I know there's some, things, some kinks we need to work out. Hopefully, we'll have those worked out for Saturday. Uh, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to get yeah. – uh, I really like this concept. I think it's uh, – there's a lot that can be built off of this. Got a lot of uh, that's legs. a very good way of putting it. All right. yep. And as always, Tommy has the, the best way of articulating those thoughts. <laughs> uh, that's it for us. Thanks so much for listening, everybody. Again, thanks to Box Basics, shopboxbasics.com. The code is TEF for Tommy Marquez and Lauren Khalil. I'm Sean Woodland. Take care of each other. Be better. Talk to you guys next time. See ya. I don't want to wait. the feelings right, I'm taking it.